Now let's talk about switches. You don't see that much documentation about switches online. The main reason is they act very much like buttons. Most of the code that you use for a button, you can use for a switch, including the debounce. Now there are a few little tips and tricks for working with switches, and I have a couple examples right here. This is a standard switch right here. And if you look at the packaging, it says SPDT. What does that mean? It means single pull, dual throw. And then afterwards it says on, off, on. And if you look at the switch, you can see this would be the on, off, on. Now, single pull, dual throw means that it has one pull, meaning these three are the pins we're gonna be working on, as opposed to a dual pull, which I have right here, a dual pull, dual throw, on, on. This one has two sets that we can work on. So you can turn two things on independently. Now, the dual throw, this one means I can throw the switch one way and I can throw the switch the other way, as opposed to this one is a single throw, on, off. So there's lots of different kinds of switches out there. I have a few examples here. And what you need to look for is the fact that it says DPDT, that's a dual pull, dual throw. So I know that switch is gonna go left, center, and right. And I know that it's gonna have six terminals on the bottom. And this is an on, on, on. Most packaging has descriptions of how it works and how the pins are connected. So basically this one means none of these are ever gonna be left truly open. Everyone is going to connect one of these little leads on the bottom to another one of the leads. So there's an on position here, there's an on position here, an on position here, as opposed to an on, off, on, or an on, 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 or off, on, off. I think I covered them all. So what you need to know is dual pull, single pull, dual throw, single throw. And the last switch I wanna look at is this one. They come in many different form factors, but again, from a prototyping standpoint, these are breadboard friendly. This is a great one. This is actually an on-on as well, because if you look at the three pins coming out of it, when I slide the switch to the left, the first one and the middle one are in the on position. When I slide it over here to the right, the middle one and the third one are on, and it fits perfectly on a breadboard. Now remember, you don't wanna put it this way, you wanna put it vertically on a breadboard. So if I put it in rows one, two, and three and had it like this, the top row and middle row are now connected. If I switch it down, the middle row and the bottom row are connected. If you're not sure what kind of switch you have, they are typically labeled on the side. This one says on, on. It also gives you a little bit more information as to the voltage tolerances. Something you really should have got one right here on my bench, is a multimeter. And you can use this with the continuity tester and you can attach it to the leads on your switch and you can see whether it's making a circuit or not. And that gives you a basic overview of switches and how to use them. Again, think of them as buttons with a little more functionality.